We're listening to TikTok CEO testifying before the House Energy Commerce Committee. The Biden administration, several lawmakers have been threatening to ban the Chinese-owned app over security concerns. Now the CEO is trying to assure lawmakers that the app is safe and secure, promising a number of security measures. Jay O'Brien is on Capitol Hill with more on this. Jay, we heard the CEO here in his opening remarks promising four priorities. Uh, to keep safety uh, a priority, particularly for teens on the app, firewall protection from foreign access to user data, third-party independent monitors to look over things like the code, and free expression free from any government intervention. Does it seem that these guarantees will be enough? Well, that's the question hanging over this entire hearing, is what can Show Chu, the TikTok CEO, say in line with those priorities that you heard him lay out that would assuage some of the concerns of lawmakers here? And I can tell you, we are still somewhat early in this hearing, and the common theme from Republicans and Democrats as they've switched back and forth with their questioning, and it was the theme from minute one of this hearing, is that we have not heard from a single lawmaker who is convinced from what Shochu has said, what the TikTok CEO has said, that there are no security concerns with the app. We saw it early on with the top Republican on this committee, the chair, Kathy McMorris Rogers, who pushed Shochu on the company's TikTok's connections to the Chinese Communist Party because it's an app that is owned by a company that's headquartered in China. She at one point reminds Shochu that he's under oath, saying that lying before Congress is a crime. That was a moment of tension. And then we saw other Republicans and Democrats pushing on this idea, particularly of data privacy. One, Bob Lotta pushes the TikTok CEO saying yes or no, does, do Chinese employees with ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, have access to the data of U.S. users? TikTok is trying to migrate that data, it says, to the United States. It says that all new U.S. user data is housed in Texas, so it can't be accessed by foreign employees, but that there is some older data still on servers Overseas, So Bob Lada tries to push the TikTok CEO to say, do any Chinese employees or other overseas employees have access to U.S. data? And he initially, eventually has to acknowledge that the answer is yes. That was another moment of tension. Another concern that hangs over this hearing and is prominent concern for the members on this committee is misinformation. Because again, TikTok is an app that is owned by a Chinese company. And so one of the things that lawmakers have consistently told me about TikTok is they're not just worried about data privacy, but they're worried about TikTok's algorithm them and what kind of influence on that algorithm, how it picks its videos to show you that Chinese employees have and officials with the Chinese Communist Party have. And again, the assurances that the TikTok CEO has been presenting here today do not seem enough right now uh, for the lawmakers that we've heard from so far. He was also asked about if TikTok is used as surveillance on Americans. And this stems from a case involving three reporters. What do we know about that? Well, that is a case that involves initially Forbes reporters. We know that the Department of Justice is looking into that. And it relates to, again, U.S. user data accessed by TikTok employees. TikTok is trying to telegraph to lawmakers and to the Biden administration, which is looking into this in its own right, that they are walling off U.S.-based user data at Oracle servers in Texas. They call it Project Texas. But that, firstly, doesn't address the concerns of the existing U.S. user data that's already stored overseas. TikTok says it's in the process of deleting that, but that's going to be a long process. And it also doesn't address, as we were just talking about, those misinformation information concerns. I've heard from lawmakers who say even if TikTok walls off all of its data in the United States and makes that data inaccessible to Chinese employees, something lawmakers say they don't believe is going to happen, but even if TikTok pulls that off, there are still those misinformation concerns, concerns about the algorithm. And that's why we're seeing this growing momentum on Capitol Hill to, to craft legislation that would either ban TikTok or make it easier for the Biden administration to take some other kind of action. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.